a 5 comma 3 b 3 comma minus 2 are two fixed points find the equation of locus of p so that the area of triangle pab is 9 square units here it is given that the two points a 5 comma 3 and 3 comma minus 2 are two fixed points so we have to take let p x comma y be a point on the locus which satisfies the condition of triangle pab is 9 square units now the formula for area of triangle is half into modulus of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. Using this formula we can find the area of triangle if three vertices are given. Here the two vertices are x1 y1 and x2 y2 is 3 and minus 2 and we can take x3 y3 as this one. So consider these three vertices as vertices of triangle and by substituting in this formula we will get the area of triangle which is equal to 9 square units. So let us substitute and check. Here half into 5 into minus 2 minus y plus 3 into y minus 3 plus 3 x into 3 plus 2 is equals to 9. Now first we will multiply this 5 with minus 2 which is minus 10 and 5 into minus y is minus 5y. Again 3 into y will be 3y and 3 into minus 3 will be minus 9. Now x this we can add this 3 plus 2 directly 3 plus 2 is 5 5 into x is 5x is equals to 9. Now transposing this 2 on this right hand side that will be 9 times 2 which is 18. So now here we can see 5x and 5y minus 5y plus 3y will become minus 2y and minus 10 minus 9 is minus 19. So 5x minus 2y minus 19 equal to 18. So now here to eliminate the modulus we can write it as plus or minus for 18. <coughs> for example the modulus of x if modulus of x is equals to a, it means x is plus or minus a, either plus or minus of a. So we can write it as 5x minus 2y minus 19 is equals to plus or minus 18. So one time we can take plus 18 and one time we can take minus 18. So 5x minus 2y minus 19 is equals to 18 or 5x minus 2y minus 19 is equals to minus 18. So transposing this 18 on this side it will become minus 18 is equals to 0 and if we transpose this minus 18 on this side that will be plus 18. So the equation of the locus is 5x minus 2y minus 37 and 5x minus 2y minus 1 is equals to 0. Find the equation of locus of point P if A 2 comma 3 and B 2 comma minus 3 are two points and P A plus P B is 8. Here given that A and B are two points and P is a point on the locus, any point on the locus we can take it as x comma y which is satisfying the condition P A plus P B is 8. Now transpose this P B on the right hand side which will give P A is equals to 8 minus P B. If we square on both sides for this, so P A square is equals to 8 minus P B whole square. Now expanding this, P A square is equals to 8 minus P B is in the form of A minus B whole square. So it will be A square plus B square minus 2 A B which is 64 plus P B square minus 16 P B. Now we will find P A square and P B square using distance between two points formula which is D square is equals to x minus x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. So first finding p a square we will take p and a as x1 y1 and x2 y2 and substitute in the formula of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. So that will be x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square. Again take p b square for finding p b square we will take p as x1 y1 and b as x2 y2 and substitute in the formula of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square minus p 
plus 64 minus 16 pb. Now x minus 2 whole square and x minus 2 whole square will get cancelled. So that will become y minus 3 whole square is equals to 64 plus minus 16 pb. Now transpose this 16 pb on left hand side and y minus 3 on right hand side. So that will become 16 pb is equals to 64 plus y plus 3 whole square minus y minus 3 whole square. Now this is in the form of a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square. So if we expand this in the form of a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square. So y square plus 9 plus 6, 6y is the first one and y minus 3 whole square will be y square plus 9 minus 6y. Since we have minus here, so we will change all the four symbols here. Now y square minus y square will get cancelled. 9 minus 9 is 0 and 6y plus 6y is 12y. Or we can directly write a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square is 4ab. So we will get 16 16pb is equals to 64 plus 4 times 3y which is 12y. Here in these two terms we can take 4 common and cancel with 16. So that will become 4pb is equals to 16 plus 3 times of y. Again squaring on both sides for this. So that will be 16pb square plus 4pb square is equal to 16 plus 3y whole square. So if we square it, it will be 16pb square and this is in the form of a plus b whole square. We have to expand this in the form of a plus b whole square. So 16pb square is equal to 16 square is 256 and 3y square is 9y square and 2 times of 3 is 6, 6 times of 16 is 96y. Now we need to substitute pb square. Already we have found pb square here. This is pb square. We will substitute pb square here. So 16 times of x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to 9y square plus 256 plus 96y. We will expand this x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square in the form of a minus b whole square. So x minus 2 whole square will become x square plus 4 minus 4x and y minus 3 whole square is y square plus 9 minus 6y. Now multiply with 16 for all these terms. So that will be 16x square plus 64x plus 16y square plus 144 minus 96y is equals to 9y square plus 256 plus 96y. Transpose all these three terms on the left hand side which will become minus 9y square minus 256 minus 96y. Now after simplifying the equation is 16x square minus 64x plus 7y square minus 48 is equals to 0. This is the equation of the locus.